All right, guys, so Timo Werner, we just completed this SPC. I was very skeptic, I still am, uh, because I have pretty good strikers in the team uh, as of right now. Eusebio is there, I've been using Lotaro Martinez, uh, best play, does a good job. Um, I have Kriesman, um and you know, I have Felipe Anderson, Athenia, so a lot of players already are there in the club but i don't know i was just tempted i was skeptic but i was tempted too um because warner in the previous uh fifa games has been really really good um so this guy is 511 he has his own unique uh play body type in the game i remember from the past fifas and he's very smooth he's silky smooth on the ball uh, it, it, like he has been silky smooth on the ball for all the previous cards. So this guy has five star weak foot with four star skill moves. So that's a plus there. Uh, then he's mostly explosive, high medium work rate, which is also pretty good. And we'll go to the stats. But if you see the play styles, he has the power shot and the chip shot. Now again, these are not the most meta play styles, but might be good in some situations where all times if you're through own goal. Uh, you know, you're one one with the keeper moving forward towards you. You can use the chip shots. Power shot, not really my thing, but you know, sometimes it's just in handy. Uh, it might it might just help you kind of uh, play some shots decently. Uh, but he has the technical uh, uh, play style, which is pretty good for ball control. We'd see how his dribbling works out. He's rapid and he has the fast touch which again is pretty good um you know in, t in terms of um when you receive the ball you want to turn direction you want to go forward this play style comes in handy too then he's relentless which is pretty good and he's he has quick step so again uh, helps in acceleration uh so play styles are good so far i'm not saying that they're the best ones uh, he doesn't have triple r doesn't have a finish shot which is again okay uh not bad since he has five star weak foot we're fine with that now um his stats look pretty good um the thing is that sprint speed is slightly less i i'd be it would be so good if it, it was 95 but then again this card can still be upgraded so even if he gets upgraded by plus two he's definitely gonna get plus one i'm pretty sure he's gonna make one experience plus two is good we uh, i'm looking forward to that plus three is the best case scenario which would make this card really ins insane in terms of stats we'll see how he feels in game from what i've heard and what i've read he he really is pretty good in game but again i have the likes of R lotaro martinez um athenia felipe anderson all of these strikers who, whom i've used have been pretty good with their five star weak foot with their dribbling and stuff like that so i'll see how he feels in the game now we'll be using him as a striker in one of the in some of the games and as a left winger too in some of the games we'll see how his attacking ai works how he makes those runs because as a striker i do look forward to you know players who kind of change their run direction by themselves not not by me having to do that so that would be really uh, like that'd be a big w for me but we'll see how it works out in the game but again um forbidden recommends giving him a finisher what most people have used i give them that too because that boosts his shooting and that boosts his dribbling with that balance uh the default balance i think he really needs that boost a little bit so uh finisher provides that with that boost in the shooting department um his physicals are fine uh, we cannot expect him to have strength like Lotoro or, or you know or aggression like him um, so with 89 stats I think that acceleration would be really helpful uh, but again if this guy gets upgraded that'd be a big big W and that would probably change the way he feels in game as well but we'll see how this card works out maybe he is op as of now or he's really fun to use uh but again we'll be comparing him to the likes of eusebio we'll be comparing to the likes of latoro martinez and we'll see how he feels in terms of finishing in terms of dribbling in terms of passing uh in terms of making those attacking runs and so on with that let's get into the game all right the dribbling doesn't feel bad Tight angle. Good try. Not a bad try. That was really a very tight angle and he did pretty good. The dribbling there was pretty insane too. 
Yeah, that was again very good run there. Yeah, I tried to do that with Martinez a lot in that position where the technical dribbling that Martinez has really works out well. Um, with Werner, it wasn't that bad either. Very good run again, man. That's that is something I'm noticing right away because those runs that he's taking into the gaps that is very useful. Uh, that's if, it's just beginning of the game, but I can definitely see that he's doing that stuff. Whoa, not bad dribbling. Beautiful goal, man. Wow. So I'll tell you what, when I'm dribbling with him, he's very responsive, he's very smooth. It's a little bit different than Lotoro because with Lotoro's technical dribbling plus, he just takes those kind of uh, turns a lot faster. But Werner is very sharp with that too. And so is his positioning. So that is really a big, big W that I'm feeling with Werner. Look at that run, man, again. Kind of finds those spaces really well. So far, he's doing a very good job at that. What a run again, man. Can he finish? Beautiful. Man, this guy's attacking runs. They're insanely good. You saw how he turned his direction and went to the other side instead of directly running uh, straight. That was so helpful. That actually got us the goal. Otherwise, he would have intercepted that. Whoa. Oh, that was such a good run again, man. Against tight defenses, he's finding really well the way out of uh, those tough situations. Beautiful touch. Somehow, this time, beautiful goal. Somehow that um, final shot I was taking was taking a little bit of time, probably because of the connection, but good goal again, man. Beautifully done. Sawa, can you finish? Beautiful goal. Again, beautifully uh, taking on the opponents there. Very good dribbling. Great pass too. This time I put him on the wing and he did a great job there. Look at that run again, man. I'm not even... Oh, good dribbling there. Oh, that was so nicely done by Warner, man. Look at that run. You saw that, right? How we changed the direction again? Good ball, too. No way. I tried to play the side footed shot, but I don't know what happened there. One hour. Uh, oh, okay. We do get the goal. That was a good save by the keeper. Tight angle for Werner, but very well involved and, uh, you know, creates the goal for us. So you saw again, again, so that run, it's just instead of just straight runs, the way he's running, that has just provided, just it kind of opens up so much in the game. The possibilities that you could kind of do with him. Did you see that? Did you see how he got past the player? Warner uh, could not finish. That was completely on me. Man, his movement is insanely good. Warner, finally, man, his movement is so difficult to take him when he is kind of in that area manually because he kind of keeps moving into the spaces, which is so good. 
And that's the reason he's scoring so many goals, I'm telling you. And good finishes too, by the way. One hour again. Beautiful dribbling. Amazing escape into the spaces. And immensely good finish. Ooh, that was again beautiful movement. Like escaped Van Dyke like with so much ease. Unfortunately that did not go in. He's on. Wow. Ah oh, yeah, so that final uh shooting animation is some sometimes delayed. That's that is something I've observed definitely with Warner. Well, that is the case right now. We don't know if that would that might actually get a lot better. One more amazing dribbling again, like the spaces. So I think he's a lot better when it comes to the strike position instead of the wing position. And that's really because of its movement, to be fair. Look at this. Chip. There we go. The chip, uh, the chip shot trait coming into picture. You could see over his head. And that was a perfect score. Scoring opportunity and a good goal. Warner, beautiful finish, man. The first touch, I think he, does he have the first touch? I think he hasn't. This is why that is so helpful in these situations. Nice playing. Oh, that was so good from him again, man. Chip shot, Vandersat saved that chip shot again, but we got the goal again, so that's good. Warner again, and the chip goes again. Beautiful. Just, just absolutely wonderful. Look at his positioning again. That is so difficult to do, like, he escapes those challenges, escapes those defenders so easily, and he's not even tall, so he's not lengthy. So, you know, like, getting away from Van Dyke in those situations is really difficult. Beautiful goal again. His dribbling is very smooth, he's very smooth on the ball with the finisher uh, play style. And uh, with the pace, I haven't felt a bit that he's slow. I've, I've not felt that at all. Nice, Warner, taking it away from Zidane. Good defensive work. Look at that, man. That, that run, man. And boom, what a finish. This guy is too good, man. He's getting past the defenders like so easily nice ball in that instance you didn't see but the way Werner changed directions that was really good good goal again Werner involved in that goal it, like amazing movement Spectacular uh, awareness of the defenders. What a ball. Good goal again. What an assist for Werner. Just too good, man. I, I, I was skeptic in the beginning to play him instead of Martinez in the weekend league. But man, this guy's cooking. Show me that pace. 
what a finish, man. <sighs> I, I, <laughs> I'm so out of words. I, I didn't expect him to be this good. That's the thing. I have 91 Latoro Martinez. I had 88 Felipe Anderson. I had 90 Athenia. I have 92 Eusebio. And I'm not saying he's outperforming all of them by by miles or he's outperforming all of them by all the skills but dude his positioning accompanied with that dribbling and that finishing with five star weak foot he's like a top most player right now he's like completely meta like i didn't feel one bit to bring in laturo martinez till now in in weekend like I've, I've lost one i think it's 5-1 right now yeah 5-1 right now but in these six games not even once i felt that oh you know if i had played laturo it might have been better or if i had played uh athenia it might have been better no man this guy has it's just so easy to work with him because what happens is i'll tell you right so let's say this is your defender and this is the attacker right now when it's time to take runs this guy has to move behind him right that with that instruction getting behind and what usually happens is they start running like this, right? They start running like this and with this defender kind of cracks him, right? So this is what's happening, right? So what happens is usually the defender, if he's a meta defender like, you know, Maldini, Canavaro, um, uh, Van Dijk, uh, company, they kind of track that run and they make a tackle to stop him. But this guy, what he does is he moves. So this is the attacker, right? He moves here. And then he kind of changes the, his run to this direction. So this distance between the defender and attacker is is increased and he's able to get past. The other thing that he does is somehow, because probably it might be because of that first touch or it might be, uh, uh, you know, because of his body style. When he comes here, he's already parallel to the defender. And as soon as he gets the ball, he kind of exceeds uh, the distance. So somehow those attacking runs are really nice. They're very nice to work with. Warner man, it's just Warner man. What dribbling that. Too good, man. And this guy is telling you he's, he's playing really nice. He lost the ball there. Ah, I should have finished that. Power shot! Warner back into the game. There is his trait. Wow, what a run. Power shot from there. He thought... Uh, probably one is I would get through it, but you know power shot there it is trade coming into play All right, so Warner with the pen Great finish man. What a penalty All right guys Timo Warner uh, this guy blew my mind away man. He's just so freaking good uh, finishing his top class uh, his I mean, there's just one thing you need to talk about this guy and that is his attacking runs. They are just so, so good. Just so good. I know I have a lot of strikers, but I'm not kidding you. His 500k mark is probably because of his attacking AI. That's, that's really because of which his price is that high. I was expecting him to be somewhere around 300k when I saw his stats, but what he provides you in game that's definitely you know just too much for the rating that he has um doesn't feel slow even one bit dribbling is absolutely class finishing is pretty good small thing i've observed is sometimes shooting animations take a little bit time that might be because of the connection or that might just be how this how his body type is now he is bound to get one plus upgrade he might get two or in the best case three which is just going to increase this card's reliability so much more. He's already so good, so reliable up front. We tried him on the wing as well as on the strike. 
I think he plays a lot better on the strike position. Although on the wing also, I did not face any problems. He could pass well, he could dribble well, he has the pace, he could even finish. In the last game, we eventually lost in the penalties, but he was the one who brought us back in the game and he was the one who scored the, like, the, assisted the first goal. So overall, definitely wonderful player. If you are having any evolved strikers, um, you know, or you have 88, 89 rated strikers, this guy is definitely an upgrade. He is, he feels so meta in game. If you play in other strike position, if you know how strikers movement works, he's just so meta. He's simply top class. And I'm not kidding you. I did not expect him to be this good. The thing is, I was skeptic to complete him because I already had 91 rated striker Latoro had Eusebio best and all of that I was like where would I fit him in the team which is still a problem I don't know where he would fit in in the team probably Latoro would be on the bench for some time or maybe best or I don't know but he is just so smooth in the game and he provides you so much like you don't have to do so much with your strikers if he's your striker because he takes those attacking runs very well and that's about it guys hopefully you like this video if you're still thinking to complete him maybe this video helps you out he's immensely good i would recommend to complete him if you have that kind of order uh, i wouldn't spend coins on him but the thing is that yes he does have the opportunity to get plus two so if he becomes 91 or 92 in the best case scenario it'd be really 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 good card and with that, I should sign off. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time in another video. Goodbye and cheers.